MGK, uh, no, 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 I prevail. Mm. Read the lyrics, brother. Brother. Read the lyrics. Listen, you could go to my label, my director, my producer, but you'll never get the magic at the level I do it. Back then you could go to my label, my director, my producer, but you'll never get that magic at the level I do it, you mother... You mother... Just keep on acting like I never influenced. Keep on acting like I never influenced an entire generation. I'm the end. entire generation. I'm the antithesis to it. You went from rock to rap, but I rock to rap, but I did that first. You went from did that first. You went from rap back to rock. Rap back to rock, cause the rap didn't work. Cause the rap didn't work. That's worse. You're acting like you never heard of me, homie. But everybody that I know truly knows you're baloney. And people throwing accusations at me, knowing it's phony just to get a reaction. Out. And people throwing accusations at me, knowing it's phony just to get a reaction out of me because they're bored and they're lonely. If only I could have told what I know being 40 to the younger me, then this would have been a different story. Ooh, because they're bored and they're lonely. If only I could have told what I know being 40 to the younger me, then this would have like been a different story. story because. And we reacted to that song. And when I did the reaction, a lot of people had different opinions of who he was talking about. And he's talking about I Prevail, clearly, because he admits it. Now, we are going to go back in time four years ago, and we're going to react to an interview with I Prevail and Rockfeed. Shout out to Rockfeed. You keep doing what you're doing. My editor kind of just like chopped it up and uh, just put together the meat and potatoes explaining what happened. And this is from four years ago. So this is right around uh, COVID season, you know, let's effing Go. Uh, Ronnie Radke from Falling in Reverse has been angry on Twitter. Evidently, you guys release a uh, basically an acoustic version of Hurricane and you use the term reimagined. You know, he's on Twitter saying he shares that. He goes, what is this? Somebody says, what's it mean to reimagine a song? And he he pulls up some Google results that show Falling in Reverse reimagined. And he says, motherfuckers, forget I'm an artist, need that space to create insane shit, so don't get mad, mad when he, he I feel like you're him. being ripped off. A lot of people name their songs Reimagined, but let's be honest, I just came out with my song, and the band works with my producer, mm. which is kind of weird, like he owns the producer or something. Nah. He says, all right, I'm I think he's missing why Ronnie's feeling some sort of way. It's not because of that. I, I mean, I may be wrong, but I think it's because he feels maybe the producer's giving him some, like, inside info like yeah they're cooking up a reimagined song so he's getting on that wave that's not saying that's what the case is but maybe that's what ronnie's feeling like oh he got like the inside tip and he knew about this reimagined thing so he's riding my wave now you know he's biting me pause you know copying him i think that's what ronnie meant by that statement let's continue though all right i'm over it the drug in me is i prevail reimagined um Someone says, you know, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. He says, I DM the singer and he denies it. I guess he's talked to you. It is what it is. I don't own the rights to reimagine. Uh, people have done it before. Just don't uh, like people blatantly ripping me off. Uh, nobody likes that. What can I say? He's still, oh my God, damn, Ronnie. Knock it <laughs> off. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, I I don't want to make too big of a thing out of it because I, I definitely want I just don't I, I don't think it's worth trying to create. I mean, at the end of the day, we're just all trying to create music. Absolutely. I, mean, I think that's that's one thing I'll start it off with. But, yeah, I mean, I woke up this morning. I've been dealing with a, a couple of crazy weeks of, of tour. And, you know, I've always to an extent been a, been a big Ronnie Racky fan. I like to skate. I mean, I can go all the way back and tell you when I the first time someone heard me sing, I was jamming to an Escape the Fate song. I was singing Situations wow. and my yeah. buddy went damn, you can kind of sing, dude. And that's kind of yeah. how I got the confidence to go, all right, well, maybe maybe I can be a singer and stuff. And, Major. you know, I've always had a good relationship with Ronnie. Obviously, I, I was a fan. We, we followed each other on Twitter and, and Instagram. I've never sensed any sort of, of beef there. Or, or, you know, we've worked with the same producer, which I'm sure is, is probably a little strange. We're saying, oh, I, I want time. Or, you know, I'm sure he's looking at us going, oh, well, you're working with I Prevail. Why aren't you working with me right now? And I, I think the thing that was most alarming to me this morning is I woke up to an Instagram message from him and I'm like, oh, I, w I wonder what this is about. And I see a screenshot of our reimagined hurricane acoustic track. And he said, what is this? So I'm, you know, I'm a little baffled at first. And I, I did I kind of initially go, OK, he, he's going to try to start something here. This isn't going to be a, a, a nice greeting. But I said, <laughs> I mean, this is a reimagined version of Hurricane that we have been sitting on for essentially, you know, you know, I'll, 
I'll send you receipts of stuff I have because you know the, the one thing I told myself when I saw all this Twitter stuff going on, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to feed into the beast and I'm not going to create drama just because one, I don't think it's healthy for, for any artist to be doing that, but I don't think it's healthy to bring fans into that and try to try to stir up the pot and, and get people attacking each other and stuff. But yeah, yeah I woke up and, and essentially replied back and said, Hey man, you know, we've been sitting on this for six months. Hurricane's been doing really well at radio. The radio team was clamoring for anything. I mean, they kept trying to get us to come into uh, studios and perform hurricane and do this and do that. And we said, well, Steve and I have worked on this, you know, acoustic strip, reimagined, whatever the hell you want to call it, version six months ago, and we had been sitting on it. So while we were out on Europe, you know, the radio team hit us up and said, we would love to put this out. And I'll, I'll even send you another receipt, too, where yeah. one of our label guys specifically says, I think we should call this reimagined mm. because it isn't just an acoustic version. This is a, this is more than an receipts? acoustic version. You know, yeah. I do somewhat want to set the record straight here where – what Ronnie essentially applied and I will also be frank and I'll just lay it out cuz you know we messaged on Twitter maybe two or three times back and I straight up told him I'm like bro you know I, I understand you think we're copying you or you think that you know we're basically looking and trying to follow your model but we had had this thing ready to go forever and to be honest it wasn't even a big thing for us where you know his his video is is obviously a music video and it's meant to be a big thing where for us this was a very tiny afterthought this wasn't even supposed to go to streaming platforms or to youtube or anything like that it was supposed to be strictly for radio hold on that doesn't make any sense and i'm not being biased here i love both of them i love both of the music but if it's on radio it's on streaming you know what i mean like that don't make any sense let's continue let's go yeah. But the, the fearless team loved it so much. The radio team loved it so much. And honestly, you know, we started listening to it saying, hey, I, I think our fans would would really enjoy this where, boom, we decided, all right, let's put this out. And, you know, Ronnie, if you're watching this shit, I mean, obviously you, you blocked me on Instagram, so I can't really I can't really reply <laughs> anything. On, back. Ronnie, goddamn, man. I, I, I can't really reply anything hey. back to you at this point, but it's like. At the end of the day, man, we have so many things set up. This was the tiniest afterthought. And I, you know, I apologize if, if Reimagine seems to come off as copying or, oh, we work with Tyler Smith, who's the same producer. So obviously it was correlated where you guys copy this, where no, we had done this so far back yeah. in the past that I'm not sure where that narrative is coming from. And I think the thing that is most frustrating in all of this is now it's getting aired out to the public as some like competition when I don't understand why people yeah. just, you know, and even if, even if we labeled it acoustic or stripped, like it, it, it kind of blows my mind. Like, so are you saying if we labeled it acoustic, you wouldn't have got mad over it? Like, cause yeah. if we're literally talking about the word reimagined, you don't own that word. But he was rocking with that, that wave first. So like, I mean, maybe I'm petty as shit. And maybe Ronnie's petty and I am, who knows? But I know me, if I was in them shoes, I would be feeling some sort of way too, because I'm putting something out there, calling it reimagined, and then you do it. You got the same producer. It seems a little shady. Like, let's be real. I mean, you don't have to agree with me, chat. People on the playback, you let me know in the comments. But me personally, like, I'm. I first of all, if you don't know, I have a background where I've been in the hip hop industry. I've been in many, many studios with different artists, the same studios, the same producers, and like. Things like this is because usually someone hears something and then usually a situation like this from what I've seen happen in the past where people are being accused of copying people and biting people's style, they're getting tipped off by engineers in the studio or producers in the studio. So it really does make sense what happened if that's what happened going toward like the Ronnie side of things. But also, we also got to give him the benefit of the doubt. He's saying that he ain't do it. That's not the case. This was recorded a while ago. I think Ronnie's issue is honestly just using that term. He's taking it like, yo, you biting my style. You know, you copying what I'm saying, right? So, I don't know. They're both amazing. You know, they put out amazing music. Love them both. And uh, I just wanted to put this piece of content out there. So people can understand why the heck Ronnie dissed him. Like, what's the problem? Because I didn't see this right away. And um, I needed to do some investigating on this too. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. And 
Shout out to both those guys. I'm pretty sure they're both. I know Full on Reverse is on tour, but I'm pretty sure I Prevail is on tour too. We'll try to put some information in the description. The full interview from Rockfeed will be in the description. Also, Ronnie Radke's information, Full on Reverse's information. We do this to promote everyone, all right? So definitely check out everyone's stuff, including my stuff, all right? Thank you so much for tuning in. Thumbs up, comment, share, join the membership. And I can't wait to read your comments. If you're a lifer, you know what to write in the comments, too. Thanks for tuning in. We out. Yeah. Now watch one of these options.